Hey, what's up? I'm Chris D from PC Addicts, and this video I'm going to show you a cable tester kit that I use at work, um, and uh, show you how to test a couple cables here. Okay, let's open this thing up. See what we got? Oh, we got vocal. All right, that's in the kit. I've added a cable and some network ends, kind of floating around. Um, this is the tone uh, tracer, and you see there's two of these these endpoint things here missing. I don't know the technical name of them, but they are just um, remote ends. There you go. Like if you if you got a bunch of ports, you know, wall jacks that are uh, you just got done terminating the ends and you wanted to test them, you can plug a bunch of those in, and when you go over and you, you tone it out and then you plug it in, it'll show you what number. See how each of them has a number on them? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, I'll tell you what number is what, so then you can label them. Now here's the main main box. Okay, this is the tester. Um, main thing you do, main thing I do is just hit power. And it'll, it goes through and automatically will run a test depending on what it sees on the end there. In fact, let me turn it back off. Let's get a cable out. And see what we got. This is a cable that was made by someone in the shop at some point. I don't know. Maybe even I made it. I don't. I don't recall. Here's your uh, standard RJ45. It's Cat 5E um, network cable. Let's test this cable and see if it's good. Okay. See if all our ends are um, seated down on the uh, uh, the pins. Are they going into the, the actual wire making good contact? And then also if they're correct, if they're in a correct order. And so somewhat important when you're making your own cables. Um, if you don't have a cable tester, I don't recommend you making your cables because you don't know if it's good or if it's bad or if it's sometimes good and sometimes bad. You know. So I got it plugged in. This we don't even need to worry about. Let's turn it on. Jack ID test. Alright, it says pass. Cable is three feet long. It reads how long the cable is and it shows all the pins is good. And turn it back off. That's about it for this one. Um, this tone generator here is kind of neat. I can show you how this works as well and I'll try to explain it. Basically what it does, let's say, and I can show you in my basement at some point, but let's say you got a patch panel. You know, let's say in a building you have um, a bunch of wires, a bunch of network wires all coming in from all different offices, all different rooms, going through walls, and it goes down into the central location where all the patch panels are at, where all these these ends, without the, they wouldn't have these little tips on them, um, it'd actually just be punched down into the patch panel. You have, let's say, 100, 200 cables coming in, and you need to be able to label them and be able to know which one's which. And if it's not labeled, what you need to do is use something like this. It's a, um, it's a tone tracer. Now, this will generate a tone. So what you would do is you would plug this in to the, like the wall port. You plug a cable in to this. You plug this into the wall, the wall jack. Okay. Then, before you you walk downstairs to your patch panel, you turn this on, and then you're gonna hit the cable button. I think it is. It's been a while. Oh, come on. Let's see. Okay, cable length, tone generator. That's what we want to do. I'm going to hit select. So right now it's generating a tone. There's different types of tones you can use. Now what I'm going to do with this thing is walk downstairs and try to find where that cable's at. And what you do is you hold this button down. If you can listen, when I press it, you hear that. Now, listen, I'm going to, this is still generating a tone. Okay, that's going to generate a tone until I, until I tell it to stop. So what I'll do is pretend like, pretend this is the end of the cable in the patch panel area. I'm going to press this. Wait, let me get it by the microphone. See? Now let's change the tone. You can actually change the tone. And that, that'll let you point this thing through hundreds of wires, and then you'll be able to trace out where that tone's being generated from. Let's see if we can change the tone to something else here. Let's try this tone. Let's try a different one. Wait, come on. Oh, those are the wires. Sorry. Let's try that. Wait. How do 
how I select the tone. There we go. There you go. See, when I get this thing close, I'm pressing the button. It tells me, hey, that's the wire. Um, I can show you more things with this thing, but I don't have anything set up camera-wise to go downstairs and do all this. So that's about it. It's it's you can. This is a fairly expensive kit. Uh, this one I think I pay about 350 bucks for um, out of CDWG. And there's there's cheaper ones out there. You know, you probably get a decent kit for 30 bucks. It'll come with the um, the actual tester and um, one of the ends. In fact, I have an older one laying around somewhere. I may do a video on that at some point, but um, there you go.